Hey guys, uh, welcome back again. Um, I want to do something a little different. I don't really talk a whole lot about tools or techniques, and I'm certainly no expert. But I did want to talk about one of my favorite tools. I actually own a lot of airbrushes um, that I bought kind of before I started getting into modeling or thought I was going to try to. And I bought this because I wanted something that was easy to use, easy to clean, easy to maintain. I did a lot of review, uh, search and reviews on, on YouTube and on the web. And I decided to give these guys a try. Now, Paul and Lee and a lot of other people have done reviews in the Iwata Neo. And it is a fantastic starter airbrush. So this is me and meant as no rev no no part at all am I trying to disparage the, the Neo. Um, but I think this airbrush... Um, is just as good a value um, than uh, than the Neo, and, and it's got some pretty unique features. So I bought this um, some time ago. I bought it off an eBay dealer, but I did the buy it now feature. Um, I think I paid seventy five bucks for it with shipping. Uh, you can be it can be had for less than that. I wish I had sh I'd shopped better. This airbrush can be had off Amazon.com right now in the U.S. for fifty nine ninety nine. So it's right in line in price with uh, with the Neo. But it comes with a super nice hard plastic case. And this is the, it says Airbrush Model 105, but it's known as the Patriot 105. And guys, this has been my go-to brush pretty much for everything. And uh, let's take a look. Uh, now mine's used, and so I've got, you know, paint on the, on the cover. Um, so it's uh, completely chromed, as you can see. Let me bring this in. Uh, it's a, a really nicely chromed from Badger. It's a made in the U.S., uh, but it's got some interesting features I want to show out. Now this brush comes with a spare nozzle um, and it's got an interesting needle nozzle combination and I'll be getting to that. Um, so I love the plastic cap that comes on the end. I know that's not unusual. This thing's really on there. Um, so it's got a soft rubber or plastic like cap that goes on the end. A really nice form fitting plastic cover for the paint cup. It is a double action brush. That's a very smooth trigger. Now there is no paint limiter on the back so you can't control or regulate the paint flow by screwing in or screwing out um, a uh, device on the end of the airbrush. Um, of course you cannot do that with the Neo either so I think they compare pretty closely. Now both the Neo and this brush are relatively new. I'm not sure when this brush came out. I think it came out about a year and a half, maybe two years ago, I'm guessing. Maybe a little longer than that. Someone who knows Badger airbrushes might be able to correct me on that. Um, as you can see, it's really nicely finished. But this is one of the easiest to take apart airbrushes that I've ever used. You can see you can get to the needle chuck right here. So I mean, you just unscrew this and the needle slides right out very easily. Super, super easy to use. So you can get to it easily to clean it, maintain it, do whatever you need to. Um, I'm not gonna do a full breakdown, but this, this unscrews. There's a screw behind here, uh, which allows you to adjust the tension on the trigger, which is really nice. Um, you can take the nozzle guard or cap, and as you can see, it doesn't have much of a nozzle guard. The nozzle actually protrudes from this. Some people that you know don't like that. Number one, you can poke the hell out of your finger. <laughs> I've done it, um, but you need to kind of take care. Um, whenever I'm not using the brush, I always put that um, plastic cap on it to kind of protect the needle. And uh, but it's um, it's a nicely made uh, double action airbrush. But what's unique? Um, not only is it super easy to clean, but um, what else makes it unique is um, its needle nozzle combination, which is 0.75 millimeter. Um, and you're thinking, wow, that's that's big, and it and it is. But I don't understand the physics behind all this. Um, it, you know, not only because of that large nozzle will, will it spray large mediums, you know, thick, heavy mediums, especially acrylics. Um, you, know, you can spray, I think, up to a three-inch pattern. It will also spray pretty nice detail. And in the beginning, I wasn't very good with it, but I've gotten better in learning how to regulate the pressure on my compressor and also thinning the paint. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some demos here and show you what you can do with this brush. Uh, now, I install a 
a quick release adapter pretty much now on all my brushes. I love it. Um, if you don't get them, you know you should. So, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna mix up some paint and I'm gonna show you some of the characteristics of the brush. Okay, I didn't think I was gonna do this, but there was a couple other things I wanted to show you guys that I use. Um, this little gem, the best eight dollars I have ever spent. Uh, the Badger Paint Stir, and they're cheap. I bought it off for eight bucks off eBay. Runs on two AA batteries. But you know how when your Tamiya pots have been sitting in storage for a while and all that pigment settles in the bottom of the bottle? Um, you know, the Tamiya makes their paint stirrers, and I've got um, three or four of these paint stirrers, and they work great, especially for stirring paint in the cup. These are great. Um, but this thing will do wonders to an old bottle of paint. Um, you know, Tester's uh, Model Master Acryls are the same way. The pigment will all settle on the bottom for a while, but you just grab this thing, Run it for, I don't know, 15, 20, maybe 30 seconds tops. Always remember to turn the darn thing off before you pull it out or it flings paint everywhere. I've uh, made that mistake a few times. Um, then you got like new paint. It works fantastic. I was showing uh, Carlos uh, Mendez this la uh, yesterday morning, actually, um, when he and I were Skyping back and forth. He thought it was pretty cool, but definitely recommend the Badger Paint Stir. If you can see the head. The thing works like a gem. Seriously, for eight bucks, you can't beat it. And it makes um, old paint like new. I think Cohen's got one of these. I could have sworn I saw this on one of his reviews the other day. So, how do I mix paint? Um, I'm going to show you. There's Everybody's got their own way of doing this. Um, I buy this Master brand. It's from TCP Global. I forget what the TCP stands for. They're in California, but they're a big tool slash airbrush supplier. And I buy these little eyedroppers from them. Um, and you get a, this is a package of 100. They have a package of 50. Uh, and they're disposable. It's a really easy way that I'm really crappy at math. <laughs> so um, they're a really easy way of measuring paint. Now, typically, you know, I would mix um, to me a paint um, at about a two to one ratio. So what I, I've got some flat black here that uh, I'm going to do. First off. I'm going to go ahead and attach my quick release there to my Badger airbrush. So, I'm going to add eight drops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll do ten. Nine, ten. Of the Tamiya. X20 thinner to the paint cup, and then I'm going to add, let me grab, I had this one setting aside already, forget what was in here, but it wasn't paint, and then I'm going to add 20 drops of paint, so one, Okay, that should be about right. So, set this down somewhere. Paint going everywhere. So, and then I will take my little Tamiya paint stirrer and kind of throw this up in the paint cup. This Badger brush uh, sprays at very low pressure. Um, I typically spray between about 10 and 15 PSI, sometimes like a lot around 10 PSI. So let me go ahead and cut this off. I just cut off a piece of scrap cardboard um, that you see laying there that I'm going to use to show you what the spray pattern's like. And let me fire up my compressor and I apologize for the noise on the compressor. It's not terribly loud. I have an Iwata Smart Jet.
Okay, that's about 12 PSI, as best as I can tell. So, let's give this thing a shot here. There we go. Looks like we're spraying good. So I'm only at about 12 PSI. You can do some really nice gradual effects, but I want to show you. Okay, so this is a .75 nozzle. Of course, I can back off. As you can see, it also will throw you a, a pretty big pattern. But then, and that's pencil line, maybe slightly bigger. Um, somebody who had more skill could probably do even smaller. There's one that's really thin. But uh, this thing is. You, know, you wouldn't think with such a large needle nozzle combination, you know, that it would spray a line like this. So as you can see, it'll still do really pretty nice detail. Um, that's why I was trying to kind of let you guys know that the Neo is not, and, and there's, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of good airbrushes out there. Um, I've got a Neo <laughs> still in the box. Um, but I, I just, this guys, this is a great product. Um, not only is it super easy to clean and maintain, it just has, a, it's got a ton of applications. I mean, I can spray clear with this. I can do base coats. Um, you know, I mean, look at the little fine lines I can get with this huge needle nozzle combo. I mean, this thing is, I mean, it just does, um, it just does, it's just, it can give you fantastic results. And for 60 bucks. Um, Definitely a recommend on my part. Um, if you if you need an airbrush, you're thinking about an airbrush, uh, you know, uh, I definitely recommend this. Now they make conversion kits, um, and I and I have one. It's the, the the super fine. I don't remember what the size of the needle and nozzle is. I apologize, but you can do um, pen lot size lines. It'll do even smaller lines. But uh, this thing just sprays like a dream, and. I'm at uh, about 12 psi. You know, you can see the. I'm a no. I'm a no artist, but you can see the little fine lines that you can do with this thing, considering how big the needle nozzle combination is. Uh, plus, you know, like I'm showing you here, if I need to hose base coat, you know, or do uh, priming, this thing is, you know, awesome. There's excellent coverage. But uh, I'm gonna spell my name here, so. Andy. So, uh, guys, um, get one of these if you need an airbrush, if you're looking for a starter tool. I mean, for $60, uh, it's a fantastic brush. Uh, I'm starting to sound like a broken record here, but uh, I, I can't say good enough about it. Um, I just love it. Um, easy to clean, uh, easy to maintain. Badger has fantastic customer support. If you ever need a part, you know, you call them up, pretty much they'll send it to you. Even though it supposedly only has a two-year warranty, uh, my understanding is they will honor the warranty beyond that date. So, But um, anyways, I wanted to wrap that up. Just kind of wanted to do something different for you guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I hope you guys have a good weekend.